All right, folks, long time no see. This question comes from Mark, and Mark asks, can I pray for other people? And that's a great question. It's one that comes up a lot, and uh, it comes from a sweet place. But unfortunately, the answer to the question, can I pray for other people, is no. No, you can't pray for other people for exactly the same reason that you can't think for other people. You wouldn't want to, and you can't grow for people, can you? And that's a tough one because I don't know about you, but there are people in my life that I wish I could grow for. I wish I could take the hit and learn the hard lessons for them. If I could take the lumps on somebody else's behalf, but you and I both know it doesn't work that way. They have to learn their lessons and do their growing. And in the end, that's what you really want for them. I can't pray for you because I can't think for you. Let me put that another way. As we say all the time, and as you know very well, prayer doesn't change God. Prayer changes me. Well, I don't have the power to change somebody else. And when you think about it, although most people don't mean it this way, it's a little bit egotistical to think that somehow with my mind waves, I can change you and make you better. It doesn't work that way. Prayer only changes me. Prayer doesn't change God. However, and this is the important part, I am going to get results to my prayers that are 100% mediated by my understanding of God. You know what I mean? Here's what I mean. If you have a tiny, small, angry, vindictive God, the kind of results you get, the kind of experiences you get, the kind of life you get is going to be diminished. Our job is to have a bigger idea. So do you really want a God who can be swayed? Like, uh, God doesn't like you, but if enough people vote for your happiness, if enough people pray for you, then okay, he'll change his mind. That's kind of odd when you think about it. Do you want to believe in a God that works along the lines of, well, you can't do it alone, but I know a guy? Does God work that way for you? If so, you're going to get limited results. You can't pray for other people because you can't grow for other people. You can't send energy and love anywhere because if there's only one presence and one power, then all of the good and all of the truth and all of the triumph is already there and subtly and subconsciously, if I'm saying I'm going to send you prayers or energy, what I'm really saying is there aren't already good things where you are. And that's a rough claim to make. And it's not one that you and I want to make. You can't pray for somebody. You can't send them anything because it's already there. Here's what you can do. You can pray with them. You can see that person with the eyes of love. It might be that that person you're thinking about who's going through something so difficult needs your attention, and they need you to quit seeing them as limited. Maybe you're the one and only person in their world who doesn't see the hardship and the limitation and the lack and the sickness and the fear and the whatever it is. You can pray with somebody by seeing them like God sees them, by seeing them unlimited and free, by refusing to be fooled by appearances. Yes, we're all in this together, and we get together. Not by saying, I have more God in me, so I'm going to send you my prayers. But by saying, together, you and I are working on this. And together, we see the truth. So I want you to think about all of those people who have been on your minds, those people who, under other conditions, you might feel tempted to pray for. And to each one, in whatever way makes sense to you, say, you know what? You don't have any more God than I do. I don't have any more God than you do because there is 100% love and life and triumph right where we are, wherever we are, God is. So I'm going to see you just as unlimited, just as free, just as prosperous, just as blessed as I am. I'm going to see you triumphant and I am not fooled by the way things look right now because we're going to change those facts when we get back to the truth. That's what you can do for other people. Don't pray for them. Don't send them anything. Remember that where they are is beautiful. Thank you for sending these amazing questions. Thank you for letting me do this life. By the way, these movies are now going to be hosted at unitysociety.com. Check that out whenever you get a chance. You are going to love it. Take care of yourself.